I'm at the shelter, but I didn't stop for a full lunch because it is shaded. And when I'll, I take a break, I'd really like to dry out some of my stuff. So grabbed a rise bar, about to have some trail mix. I mix my trail mix either at night or in the morning. I like to have things separate, depending on my mood. Today I have macadamia nuts. I have some mixed dried fruit, blueberries, raisins, cherries, things like that. Uh, the M&Ms. And then I also have some almonds. Now I don't resupply myself with almonds because the rise bars are completely almonds. I have almonds in my M&Ms and uh, a lot of the other bar bars are almond based. So I try to stay away from the almonds in regards to buying nuts, but these were in a hiker box. So for now I have almonds. Now that I'm back on the trail, I realize I didn't do any stretching while I was at the shelter. I thought about it all the way there and then got up and walked. So <laughs> typical actually. Um, but my IT band is bugging me, so it's reminding me that I need to stretch. Hopefully, I'll find a spot in the sun that allows me to throw out my yoga mat and do some stretching in a little bit. In the far out comments, there was a mention of taking the side trail to here, <laughs> down at this uh, trailhead because of the garbage cans. And uh, yeah, I decided, yes, please get rid of some of my garbage. I changed my mind. I'm going to have peanut butter tonight in uh, kind of a self-made pad thai. So having some chicken with mayo, a little more flavor here by adding in a beef stick and adding some protein because I'm really craving salty protein and even some pistachios. I'm going to throw in on this wrap. It's going to be a concoction. I have no idea what it's going to taste like, but I'm sure it will be just fine. In the meantime, I'm drying out my tarp, my feet, and my socks and shoes. I have a friend for lunch. Can you see the inchworm on my finger? I don't know where I can put it to make it. There you go. I just forced myself to go and get some water. And by force, I mean, I argue with myself for, I don't know, an hour. And then when I got there, I didn't want to do it. And I eventually made myself put my pack down and go get water. And made me think about some things because I'm usually really good. I have strong willpower and I can uh, convince myself, I don't know, uh, make myself do things because they're good for me. And yet out here I struggle a little. And I think that's partially because I'm building new routines. And that's always hard. Um, I studied habits and so I have all kinds of tricks and tools. But I think, and especially because some of you know, but my previous um, before I came out here, I was, I work with people to make that lifestyle change. And so I um, have lots of ways of doing things and people struggle. And most of the time people struggle because they have conflicting values or a conf conflict between a value and a desire. And that was the case for me with the water. I want to be hydrated. I know it's important. I know that it'll help me hike better, sleep better, eat better, all the things. I'll feel better. But I also don't like carrying extra water. And there's a water source in three miles. And so it was really hard to make what I think is the right decision because I was running low on water and I definitely uh, would benefit from drinking more. Uh, it was hard to do that because I also know that carrying extra water will be harder on my joints and it's just harder effort-wise. So there's a couple areas that I'm struggling with these things. And if I weren't climbing, I would tell you all about them, but now I need to breathe. 
The other habit I'm having a hard time maintaining, as you know, is my yoga practice. And part of that is because I value other things. And sometimes it's sleep. Sometimes it's not laying in the mud. Sometimes it is, uh, I don't even know. Today, it is that I'm trying to beat a storm. I would like to stop and stretch and do some movement, but there's potential rain coming in and I don't want to get wet before camp. And so it's a, it's a conflict of values. I have to pick one or the other. And uh, today I'm picking staying dry. It brings to mind another concept that I learned in a yoga teacher training, and that is having a minimum daily practice. So I don't have to do a full hour, a full half hour, I just have to show up. And I've been doing that every day in my hammock. So whether it's rolling onto my belly and getting a little back bend stretch, or it's drawing my knees into my chest or doing a little twist, I'm doing something every day. And that's a really good start. So these contemplations and thoughts about habits and routines are coming from, well, at least they were ignited um, from a, an email that I received, I think last week, from somebody who's been following along. He was, uh, he found me on my blog for the trek. Uh, there's always a link below in the description, but I did some writing for the trek before my hike. And to be honest, I haven't, hi I haven't written since. Um, but I do hope to write again. And uh, one particular piece, um, I want to mention in another video. And I want to share more about the conversation that I had this email exchange. But basically what... The takeaway is, is that one of my intentions for hiking the trail was to find out if the way that I was living, these practices that I have, the way that I was taking care of myself and the things that I valued were necessary. Um, did I just do them because I've always done them or did they still have some value? And so now that I'm out here and some of them have disappeared, I'm recognizing their value. And others, I am finding that, um, actually the truth is, what I'm noticing is that they all have value. They were all really good. The way that I was eating was really good and served me well. The way that I was moving and my yoga practice and the other aspects of yoga that I practice, those are all serving me really well. And <coughs> I guess um, what the trail has really provided so far is that insight. And now for me, the challenge is to take these things that I've been doing for years and put them in a completely new environment and create these habits here. And they might be slightly different, um, and that part I think will be fun. So anyway, lots of thoughts on routines, habits, the importance of values, and the difficulty of conflicting values. It's not always an either or. A lot of the times in life, it's a yes and. Whoa, look at these big, giant, beautiful mushrooms. They're like super big. See how big they are? Beautiful. I think I'm getting close to my last water source. And just like yesterday, it's another water carry. But instead of four miles, it's only a mile and a half. So for that, I am grateful. More rocks. I got my water and it took a while because it was a trickle. And I was going to show you, but forgot, how to use a rhododendron leaf to funnel the water. Um, you don't have to use a rhododendron leaf, but they're big and it works well. So maybe if I remember next time, I'll show you. On my way to camp, battling the 
I think they're berries. Um, the bushes that are overgrowing the trail and trying to get to camp before it rains. <sighs> and as I said that, it started to rain. Time to put the rain gear on. So I came to a road crossing parking lot and right here at the trailhead, there's all of these cans and they're actually full, which is pretty cool. Although I don't need any soda or beer, it's neat to see trail magic. I haven't seen that in a while. Camp is all set up and I'm gonna go take a look at the view before it starts raining again. Still sprinkling, but not too bad. I'm gonna put my hood on. Just keeping my hair dry. That's one thing that is important to not go to bed when it's gonna be 40 degrees with a wet head. It's really cool up here. Wonder if we'll get a sunset or if it will continue to rain. Trying to watch my step here on these rocks. Amazing. I know the sun is trying to stay out. I hope it does. I should also show you down. Down, down, down. raining and the sun is out. It's quite an odd combination.